Hi, I'm Leanne Reimel, Principal Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce. Did you know you can make your processes even more efficient by building reusable, invocable processes that can be used throughout all of your automation? That's right. With invocable processes in Process Builder, you can build a process for repeatable steps instead of having to manually create those actions on every, say, criteria node of another process. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So I'm working on a process here for new deals. Every time a new opportunity is created, I wanna go through a few different steps. This process is going to start every time an opportunity record is created, and we have two different criteria nodes for upgrade customers and new customers, because there's things that we wanna do that are different between those. But there's also things we wanna do that are the same, like certain follow-up tasks. So we're gonna create a brand new opportunity follow-up process. And this is going to be our invocable process. And I'm going to create this so I don't have to create duplicate tasks or duplicate actions on those two different criteria nodes. So we're going to select invoked by another process. Now here we select our object. We're going to make this based on the same object. It has to be an object that is related in some way to the process that's going to be used to trigger it. Now I'm going to add my criteria. So here actually I have no criteria because we're going to be defining the criteria in that other process. Now the actions I want to go through are creating some follow-up records. So I want to create a task record to follow up. And this is something that I'd like to do for every new opportunity that's created in that previous um, process, but I don't want to have to you know, create this multiple times for those different criteria nodes. So we go ahead and we select our different task uh, fields here, our values that we're going to um, predefine here. So all of those related to IDs, awesome. You, we wanna make sure when we're creating invocable processes that these are things that we would want to reuse, right? Because otherwise, if this was only going to be something I was actioning for one type of deal, one type of opportunity, um, I might just build that into my original process. So I'm only adding here those actions that I'd like to apply to multiple nodes or multiple processes. And that's what makes this a very useful reusable uh, process and not just you know, duplicate process efforts. So we've got our chatter post and our follow-up tasks. So these are the things that we want to happen for both of those different criteria nodes. Awesome. And I can always go back and edit this process or create a new version. And I could have added criteria as well if I want to build in more layers of automation complexity. So I've automated my processes. Now let's go back to our previous process, our original process, that new deal process. So this is the one that's going to trigger every time a new opportunity is created. And now I'm going to add that invocable process as an action here. So there's an action type called processes, and I want to say which process it is we're triggering. And I, because it's an invocable process and it's active, it is available here under the process. Now I do have to define the variable. So this means how do I define what that opportunity is from that invocable process, that first step, which opportunity we're acting on. So that's where we tie the opportunity ID to the opportunity ID on that invocable process. And I'm gonna add it here to that new customer criteria node, that same process. So with just a few clicks, we're able to bring in those multiple steps and actions and make them repeatable across different criteria nodes without having to repeat our work. So that's just a quick intro to how to get started with invocable processes and how to start building reusable automation in your environments. Learn more about Process Builder and how you can start thinking about what business use cases can be applied to Process Builder with this awesome podcast with Mark Baseman and Jillian Bruce, The Process Before Process Builder. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time.